This is my 4-bit fully transistor computer. And it was an absolute nightmare to build. This is my transistor computer. And it's running a program where all it does is add 5 to the previous number. And this computer can do that with any number you want. It can also subtract numbers too. And so I'm going to give you a little basic layout of what this computer is right now on the screen. And then we're going to hop or go into detail about how this works. But the main reason I made this is really for educational purposes. Because it's always been a mystery to me how computers really work on a fundamental level. Because you can look at cars and just fool around with the engine and kind of know how it works. You can do that with a lot of different other mechanical devices, but electrical components and then software components, they always seem like a mystery of how they really work together in order to make one coherent computer. And I would argue that a computer is the second most important invention that we made besides fire. So I wanted to kind of learn just a little bit about how the basics of a computer work. And if you look at my previous videos, you see a lot of software. And we know how it works theoretically, but how does it work practically? And that's what this little computer taught me right here. It taught me how it works practically. So now let's go through each of the modules so I can demonstrate how it works. So first we have the clock module, which is a simple A-stable multivibrator. It's nothing fancy. We just take the output from the clock and then it goes to our JK flip-flops. And a JK flip-flop, if you don't know what it is, is it just inverts the current output of the machine. I'll have a little demonstration on the screen for you to understand. And we use that in order to make this little um, LED circuit right here. So you can see we're at zero, one, two, three, zero. And then we have a decoder right here which will decode the JK flip-flop into four individual outputs. And so this is essentially our program counter and clock combination. And you may ask, why would we need that in the computer? And that's because this gets fed to our code. So our code is just an array of switches with some tri-state buffers attached to it. So when we cycle through these LEDs, we enable each of these switches, the code to be activated. And then it gets activated onto this LED panel so we know exactly what code is being ran. And then um, it goes to our ALU. And our ALU adds the numbers or it subtracts the numbers. This is the subtractor and this is the adder. And then it gets sent to our LEDs so we can read the data. And then our clock register right here. So this is our little accumulator register right here. And the blue LEDs are the ALU output and the green LEDs are the um, register output and that just helps with a little bit of decoding if or debugging my bad if we don't know what's happening that's a breakdown of my computer now let's go into the simulation to see how it theoretically should work and for a better explanation of it so we're in the simulation right now and we're going to go over how our transistor computer works this is an exact replica of the transistor computer that i made in the simulation. So we're gonna start off from left to right and just kind of read our way through it. So first we have the clock. The clock's an A-stable multivibrator, which we cannot make that in the simulation because there's already a clock. So this is gonna represent that circuit right here. And then this not an AND circuit um, represents our halt, which you'll see in a second. So we're just gonna ignore it right now. We're just gonna act like the clock's passing through in which it is. So then it goes to our two JK flip-flops like this. And this can essentially be seen as our program counter. Um, it's just keeping track of what program it's on, uh, one through four or zero through three. And then our decoder um, decodes our JK flip-flops to give the program to each of our tri-state buffers so we can um, show what opcode we want to communicate to our computation units. Um, and then this is the our tri state buffers, eight of them. Our opcode is eight. So the bottom four represents the numbers. The top four represents what we want to execute. 
as of right now we have three executions we can do which is save uh, subtract and add and halt so this first one save this one subtract and if subtract is off then we're adding and then we have halt which is our fourth one and the way halt works you can see once it's on it just feeds back to this starting circuit and it just doesn't send our clock signal through um there's a different method i use on the circuit itself uh just to save a few transistors but it essentially works in the same principle so that's how that works um now let's go to the alu which if we view it it's just a basic alu with we have xor gates in the front to feed for subtraction and then the alu itself is just made of a whole bunch of nand gates because that will save on transistor count um so that's what i made for the alu and then it feeds into this four bit clock register so it's an accumulator design if it's not a clock register which means it saves on a pulse instead of constantly saving it would it would not work so what programs can we really execute with this computer well this program right now is just adding by one but we can add by essentially any number we can add by five and it's just going to keep repeating we can subtract if we want to so now it's going to subtract by five um that's really it i'm not gonna lie if we want to add two numbers we can halt it at the top and then we can um add let's say one one we're gonna save to four and save and we release halt and that's exactly what it's gonna do but it's gonna keep repeating after so really not that much it can do but it's cool because it is made out of pure transistors um and that is the basics mechanics of how my transistor computer works on a fundamental level so thank you for sticking around and watching to the end of this video if you want any of the circuits that are in this computer or all the circuits that this computer has to offer they will be in the link in the description. They are gonna be through a little paid wall because this took me months to learn how to do in the solder properly. So in order to save you months, if you wanna build a transistor computer, you can access my files and my schematics to make sure that it lines up with what you were trying to do if you wanna build a very similar model to me. But thank you so much for watching this video. My Instagram's in the description, my Patreon, which I don't really post on it, but it's still there. Um, the schematics are gonna be in the description. My Discord, we're gonna have a Discord server. If you like electrical engineering and you want a, a community of people to be around you, we'll have that in the description too. And I'm pretty sure that's all the links that I'll ha I also have my email. If you wanna ask me a personal question through email, be in the description too. But thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.